Fear and pessimism sells. We know that. It sells magazines, sells newspapers, it sells TV ads, sells all the books, all kinds of different things. So investors are bombarded with this on a daily basis. It used to be that you can avoid it. But now we've got 24-hour computers, right? Internet access, 24-hour cable news. You can't avoid it anymore. We have the horror and the fear mongers that are out there. This city is headed for a disaster of biblical proportion. What do you mean, biblical? What he means is Old Testament, Mr. Yes. Mayor. Real wrath of God type stuff. Exactly. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Yeah. <laughs> Mass hysteria. It's no lie, though. You know, you'll get them. Final Judgment Day, the greatest slaughter of, of unsuspecting investors since 1929 is coming, the American apocalypse, the end of America. Scott and I do the research and we follow these guys. We know that the, he's been saying this for years and years. And then all of a sudden, hey, I'm right. You know, because we have a downturn. See, I told you so is what they'll say. Right? You guys watched Sanford and Son years ago? Okay. Lamont, his son... He was a seasoned person, okay? Fred, the big one's coming. Hey, give me my money. No, I said no. No, I want my money. I said, I said no, Pop, now get out of here. Uh-oh. <laughs> nah, you went and did it. Oh, I might need that money tonight. Oh, I've never had pains like this before. Oh, this is the worst one I ever had, son. Oh, it's the worst one. This is a big one. I'm dying. You hear that, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. Oh. Maybe that's Elizabeth. <laughs> the big one's coming. And people that predict crashes, you know, they dress nice. They're smart. They're really smart people. They state a good case. You can make the case for it. And then this guy, Howard J. Ruff. Again, when he comes on TV, you don't know him from Adam. You just think he's predicting the latest one. You don't know that he's been this way for 40 years. Okay, How to Prosper in the Coming Bad Years, 1979. This guy's like the Eeyore of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Okay. His number one recommendation back then, sell stocks and buy gold. Okay. We know that stocks have trounced gold in the last 40 years. And then 1981, survive and win in the inflationary 80s. And then how to prosper in, during the coming bad years, 1984. We know what happened from 1984 on. It was rip-roaring good times, right? And then 1999, he wanted to capitalize on Y2K, so how to prosper during the hard times ahead. And then his latest book, How to Prosper During the Coming Bad Years in the 21st Century. You know, bad years are coming for those unaware, but when you know what's really happening behind the scenes, he'll tell you what's happening behind the scenes, okay? You can make them the best years of your life. And then, on the cover, they put past predictions. Well, if you write predictions for 40 years, you can find a few that you got right to put on the cover of your book. Okay. And then you find stuff like this, February 2009, that was the absolute bottom of the market when everybody was fearful and nobody knew what was going to happen. Are we going to have a recovery? What's going to happen? Okay, and guys like this come on TV again. Passionate, stating a good case, and listen to what he has to say. Maria, it's never coming back. Living standards will never be the same. You cannot have an $8 trillion negative wealth effect from housing. You can't have a $10 trillion hit on capital markets. You can't have a bunch of insane government programs and bailouts and everything else. Nothing makes sense. The consumer knows it. It's indefinite. America will never be the same. We have trillion dollar deficits, Maria, for 10 years. Well, so you're saying that people are not going to be going in this spend thrift direction anytime soon and they'll stay with the, uh, the discount retailers? Is that what in, you're saying? Indefinitely. Maria, this is here to stay. Our country will never 
be the same. We have permanent damage mm -hmm. to our financial system, which is in a depression, residential, it's all, it's in a depression. By the way, I think there's a 50% chance we're going into a full-scale depression. That's my view, and it's not getting fixed. It's never coming back. But you guys are now seasoned. You know it's come back every single time. Even after the Great Depression, it came back. Dysfunctional narrative in the media destroys your peace of mind. It causes you to make imprudent decisions.